Welcome to the full training of Windows 10 series. This is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use Windows 10 from scratch. Some of the new features as well as some of the old ones that have been updated. As you go through this series of videos, we will be doing some exercises so you can get the chance to go and apply what you have learned and then come right back and join me to learn more about Windows 10. So we could do great things to learn Microsoft Windows 10. Windows 10 is Microsoft's latest and one of the greatest operating systems. But the interface is quite familiar. On the desktop, we have icons. And as we continue, you will learn how to load it all with your favorite icons and shortcuts, folders and programs. The lower left corner of the screen is where we can see the Windows Start menu, which is more advanced and better than ever before, but still very familiar. We can go to the Windows Desktop. We can go to our Start menu to launch our applications easily. Right next to the start menu is Cortana. Cortana is a voice control virtual assistant created by Microsoft for Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, Windows Phone 8.1. How does it work? Cortana can be voice activated or you can type your questions or command and she will respond to your question and provide search result for you. To the right of the start menu is the system taskbar. You can see familiar icons on the taskbar such as Word, Excel, Windows Explorer and more. If you notice, the taskbar has a couple of new icons. Stay tuned for the next few videos as we will learn more about those later. On the lower right corner, we have the system tray, which is quite familiar. The clock, the volume, and a few other icons that you are probably very familiar with. Windows 10 has a familiar start menu on the lower right screen. The start menu contains all the programs and apps that we have access to on our system. And with the new enhanced start menu, much more. To access the start menu, it's simple. Just taking your mouse and clicking once on the start menu. And if you want to turn it off, you just click it again. If you rather want to use the keyboard, well, you can. Using your keyboard, you can tap the Windows key to bring up the Start menu. And you can tap the Windows key again to shut it off. You might be thinking, what is the Windows key? Or, where is the Windows key on the keyboard? Well, look at your keyboard right now. Typically, on the lower left corner, right next to the Alt key is a button that looks a lot like the Start menu icon. It's called the Windows key. So, by using your keyboard instead of mouse, tapping the Windows key once will turn on the Start menu. Tapping it again will turn it off. 
In summary, Windows 10 is a series of operating systems produced by Microsoft and released as part of its Windows NT family of operating systems. It is the successor to Windows 8.1, released to manufacturing on July 15, 2015 and broadly released for retail sale on July 29, 2015. Windows 10 is a new operating system which is much more advanced and user friendly. Now you know how to access your start menu, why don't you take a minute, go to your computer, Pause this video and try it yourself. You can either use your mouse to get to the start menu or use the keyboard Windows key. Once you practice this, come back as we will teach you about all the tools and applications that you can see and access from the start menu.